Okay, so we all have that one friend that when they call or they text you, you get excited because you know it's about to go down. For me, that's Trent. Let me tell you about Trent. This dude is crazy. He knows an insane amount about audio. He's a CrossFitter, so he's insane there anyway. No shade to CrossFitters. My wife does it, so I can say it. And he runs a company that does wizardry when it comes to microphones. And today is all about snare mic. So Trent called me late 2022, I believe. The intent wasn't to send me a microphone. I wasn't asking for a microphone. He just wanted to chat. He reached out to me on Instagram, actually, and was like, hey, you have time to call? I didn't know anything about Loughton. I didn't have any Loughton gear at the time. Since then, I've amassed quite a collection, and you should know most of that was given to me by Loughton. You know, they've never paid for a video. They've never paid for an opinion. Nothing like that. There's a few pieces that I have purchased with my own money because I like it, but you should just assume if you see a piece of Loughton gear that it was was given to me so that I could try it. During our first conversation, I really didn't need a microphone. I wasn't asking for one. And I told him that my main thing with microphones was that I need them to solve problems. I didn't know anything about the ethos of the company, what they did, that they were US based, that they were basically like a small family microphone company. They don't have the market share that a lot of larger companies do. Or their approach to making microphones and how different it was from a lot of different companies. My first experience with them was the 208. This thing blew me away quickly. I didn't really know how to treat it right at first. I used it as a vocal mic and it was awesome but I couldn't quite figure out why I liked it or what was going on. But the more situations that I put it in that were more difficult, it has a hyper rejection. It's built to solve problems. This thing on guitar cabs, while a full band is in the room, will help you reject that and it gets a killer cab sound. The LS308, possibly the weirdest looking microphone that I have, when he sent me this stuff, he didn't tell me what any of it was really for or what to do with it. But I quickly found out, although this thing looks really weird, its form factor was awesome. Awesome. I've put it on a grand piano the first time I used it in a church setting on a super loud stage during a Christmas concert It was a nine-foot grand piano and the stage was super loud. We had small diaphragm condensers in front of house It was just squealing. We could not get a good sound out of this thing So I put two of these inside the piano and it hyper Rejected everything else on stage and we got a killer grand piano sound I've used it on my upright while a drummer's playing and you get most of the sound of the piano. It's ridiculous what these can do in rejecting the sides. There's crazy physics wizardry at play here that I don't think another company has ever matched. I'm getting off the beaten path. He texted me in January if I wanted to try a prototype that he had working. That prototype led to a few different things and we ended up with snare mic. Now, I took this thing so many different places. I tried it in so many different scenarios and everywhere was that I liked it. There were a couple things that I didn't like. The mount felt sticky. There's other feedback that I gave and now we end up with the final product, the Loughton Audio snare mic. As you can see, way smaller here. The whole idea is that this is gonna be easy to put on a drum kit. Everything I liked about the 208 or the 308 is still here. There is rejection on the sides. There is that ridiculous bump in the low mids that I love. Even when I had the prototype, I gave it to a few engineers to try. And here's one. So what changed my mind, there's more low mids in the 57 and more rejection. This was in a live sound situation where it's trial by fire. We put it right up against the 57 so the engineer was able to see what he liked better in that situation. I did the same tests live, I did the same tests in the studio, and I came up with the same results. 57 is a great mic. This does something different. So in the box, you're gonna get the mic, the pouch, as well as this neat little bandana that you can put on your drum and play. Like if you ever put tea towels on your drum kits, that's a cool touch. That's somebody who knows the market that they're going for. As far as the mic itself, the mount is basically the same mount that Loughton uses, way smoother, big fan. And this, the tightening mechanism on this thing feels great and you'll get it, it'll stay exactly where you put it. You can crank on this thing, it's not gonna move. On the mic itself, you have a low pass that goes five kilohertz to 12 kilohertz. So if you wanna knock off some of the top end of a source, and it doesn't have to be a snare drum, and we'll get to that. There's also a high pass to cut out some of the lows. Now, snare mic, sounds great. I'm gonna spoil it for you, sounds awesome. As what you could expect from Loughton making a purpose-built microphone for a certain source. That didn't satisfy me. I need to try it on as many sources as possible.
Yeah, sounds awesome on snare. How about guitars? Uh, how about bass cap? <laughs> Vocals. This is how we grow. Okay, so Loudon, I like your microphone here, and I see what you want to do calling this snare mic, and I'm all for it. But you've made yourself a monster here. And guys, if you are interested in getting a microphone or a snare mic, this is more versatile than the name on its body. This is Loudon. It's built to solve problems. It's built to sound good. If you dig the sound of any Foo Fighters record, Loudon audio is all over those things. They're the sound of big drums. And I have a session that I used only Loudon stuff. I didn't have to make that video, but he didn't even really know I was going to do it until I asked for a couple more mics to try so that I could do a full session to see what Loudon Audio sounded like. Some of the samples you heard were from using this on those sources, but in that session we tried all different kinds of Loudon Audio mics on all different kinds of sources in a full session context, and I'm pretty stoked about the results that we got. As of right now, Snare Mic is live. Go pick it up. I'll put a link down in the description that is going to be an affiliate link that goes to Sweetwater. I get a little bit if you purchase something. If you don't want Snare Mic and you pick something else up, feel free to hit those affiliate links. They support the channel so that I can keep doing weird experiments like this so that I don't have to lean on people for paying for videos. Like I said, Loughton did send me most of the mics that I have. That said, I would purchase them again. I find that there's a ridiculous value to performance with Loughton. The price points that they're hitting are pretty staggering. There are a lot of other companies doing like boutique-y things. Not to say that Loughton does not have those mics, they absolutely do. But what they're doing with engineering and physics and the science behind this stuff and the functionality that you can have at your fingertips with mics like these makes sessions go so fast. And I can appreciate that after using an entirety of Loughton audio stuff for one particular session. I can't wait for you guys to hear that. Like and subscribe for that, that will be coming out really soon. I'm Resident Loser Jeremy and I'll see you in the next one.